Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about top five methods to protect building against earthquake. Building should be designed to withstand minor earthquakes without damage because they may occur almost everywhere. For major earthquakes, it may not be economical to prevent all damages, but building collapse can be prevented from happening. How does an earthquake occur? Earthquakes are caused by sudden release of tremendous amount of energy within the earth by a sudden movement at a point called hypocenter. The point on the surface of the earth directly above the hypocenter is called epicenter. The resulting shock sends out longitudinal, vertical and traverse vibrations in all directions both through the earth's crust and along the surface and at different velocities. Here are some of the methods used to help buildings withstand earthquake. 1. Create a flexible foundation. The building is constructed on top of flexible pads that isolate the foundation from the ground. When an earthquake hits, only the base moves while the structure remains steady. Buildings that use base isolation are more likely to survive a strong earthquake and be functional afterwards. 2. The use of cross braces in earthquake proof buildings. The cross braces provide the necessary distribution of force to enable a building to safely move with vibrations. Cross braces also send vibrations back down the building, often softening the force of the movement. Without cross braces, buildings have a high chance of collapsing in on themselves or sustaining dangerous structural damage. 3. Dampers Dampers are shock absorbers in buildings that reduce the impact of the shock waves on building by converting the seismic wave energy into heat energy, which is then transferred into a hydraulic fluid. These dampers have huge pistons inside the cylinder filled with silicon oil. When an earthquake hits, the pistons push against the oil, transferring the mechanical energy into heat energy. 4. Shield buildings from vibration. Instead of just contracting forces, researchers are experimenting with ways building can deflect and reroute the energy from earthquake altogether. Dubbed the seismic invisibility clock, this innovation involves creating a clock of 100 concentric plastic and concrete rings in and burying it at least 3 feet beneath the foundation of the building. As the seismic wave enters the ring, they are forced to move through to the outer rings for easier travel. As a result, they are essentially channeled away from the building and dissipated into the plates in the ground. 5. Effects of ground conditions The maximum vibration at a specific location during an earthquake depends not only on the distance from the epicenter, but also on the type of soil at the location. Ground vibration usually is much larger in alluvial soils, like sand or clay deposited by flowing water than in rocky areas. In selection of sites for structure in zones where there is severe earthquakes, high preference should be given to sites with rocky ground to considerable depth rather than with sand or clay soil. Over the years, many researchers and engineers have carefully planned techniques to create some effective earthquake-proof buildings. But it is not yet possible for building to completely withstand a powerful earthquake without suffering any damage or harm. Still, if a building is able to allow its occupants to escape without collapsing and saves lives and communities, it can be considered a great success. So that's all for this video. This is Arputa signing off. Thank you so much for watching.